Laura Muir has moved to protect her reputation by dumping the Nike Oregon Project coach she had just hired. The British 1,500 meters record holder was stunned by the fallout following Sports Mail's revelation earlier this week that she had chosen to associate herself with the Nike Oregon Project, even though the Alberto Salazar run organization remains at the center of a U.S. anti doping agency investigation. She clearly had not properly considered the consequences of working with David McHenry when she met him for the first time in Glasgow in February and again in Birmingham. Birmingham last month. While McHenry has never featured in any of the allegations being investigated by USADA, he has been at the Nike Oregon Project since 2005 and their lead strength and conditioning coach since 2011. It left Muir open to accusations of hypocrisy as she and her coach Andy Young were publicly critical of Genzebe Baba for her association with a coach who is also being investigated by the anti doping authorities. To Muir's credit, the first whiff of controversy has convinced her to act. It took more than two and a half years for Sir Mo Farah to split with Salazar after the allegations against the coach surfaced in 2015. Muir took less than 24 hours. Muir tweeted on Friday night, At a busy time in my life, with my degree in veterinary medicine coming to a critical stage and my running career going so well, I need to minimize distractions and stresses to allow me to focus on my athletics and studies. I have no concerns about Dave McHenry and was hugely impressed when I met him. But after some reflection we have decided not to start working with him as planned and not to pursue this relationship further. The move is sure to embarrass UK athletics bosses, who confirmed on Friday that they had endorsed Muir's decision to work with McHenry by agreeing to pay some of her costs to be coached by the former American college football quarterback. Indeed, sports mail can reveal that far as back working with McHenry with UK Athletics paying towards costs for him as well. McHenry was a key member of Farah's support team when he was based with his family in Portland, Oregon, reportedly working with him as often as three times a week. Sources close to Farah insisted on Friday he is using McHenry purely on an independent basis and almost exclusively online, only re-engaging with him a few weeks ago as he prepares for this month's London Marathon. Gary Locke remains his principal coach. For Muir it was a new relationship but one that caused widespread consternation in the sport with senior figures stunned by her decision to associate herself with Salazar's training group. As former Oregon Project coach and whistleblower Steve Magnus tweeted, You are who you associate with. Is your reputation worth it? Choose wisely. U. K. Athletics confirmed on Friday that they were indeed contributing to costs for McHenry on behalf of both Muir and Farah, even though their personal sponsorship earnings, not least with Nike mean they are not eligible for athlete performance. Award funding. Officials explained that they have a separate budget to cover such costs at their discretion. UK Sport also confirmed that paying an American coach does not breach their policies even though strength and conditioning. Coaches are employed in the British system. Officials at Nike-sponsored UK athletics have done little to distance themselves. From the Nike Oregon project and senior figures were seen engaging with Salazar at the World Indoor Championships last month. He has denied any wrongdoing since the allegations of doping violations emerged in a joint investigation by the BBC and ProPublica. In 2015, Muir initially attempted to play down McHenry's involvement with the Nike Oregon project by posting a lighthearted tweet that referred to the specialist only as one of Nike's and the world's top strength and conditioning experts. Apostrophe. But her statement issued on Friday confirmed that she would not be pursuing a working relationship with McHenry.